Hello everyone, my name is Mrs. Brandy uh, Nicole Chalmers and I'm here on behalf of Ready, Set, Read to read my anti-bullying book, Captain Love and the Important Lesson. So we're gonna get started. Tomorrow is the big day. Hi, my name is James. Sure, I would love to be your friend. James practiced in the mirror what he would say to each new classmate. Tomorrow was the first day of school. He was so excited. He was about to go to the big school over on Cherry Lane. Amanda, his big sister, was already a student there. Now, he would be able to see her every day. He couldn't even think about going to sleep due to his excitement. He had his school clothes and shoes ready out. They were laying on the edge of his bed. His backpack was filled with his favorite blanket for nap time. He was ready to become a kindergartner. Mom, go to sleep, James. You have a big day tomorrow. I want you to be prepared, okay, my love? Yes, ma'am, you are right. I will go to bed. I love you. Love you too, James. Sleep well, my kindergartner. Mom turned out the light, plugged in James's nightlight, and closed the door. James's mom woke up early and prepared breakfast for the children. It wasn't much, but it was prepared with love. James and his sister ate their breakfast, washed up for school, and kissed their mom goodbye. She watched them walk to the bus stop before she prepared for a long day at work. Their father had been sick at the hospital and their mom was being taken care of them at the household. James and Amanda sat aside by side on the bus. There were so many children on the bus, all eager for the first day of school. I just know you're going to have a great day, James. I want you to put my lucky penny in your pocket. If for some reason you get nervous or scared, just take this out your pocket and say this secret phrase, said Amanda. What's the phrase, asked James. Oh, that's simple. Take the coin out your pocket and say, I just want love. That's it, that will do the trick. All right, Amanda, I will do what you say, said James. He really didn't think that would work, but played along to make his sister happy. The bus pulled up to the front of the school and let the students out. Amanda walked into class kissed him on the cheek and ran down the hall to get to her class on time. Good morning, class. My name is Miss Amy Parsons. I'll be your kindergarten teacher. I'm so excited to have you all of your smiling faces. We're gonna go around the room and introduce ourselves, okay? Say your name, birthday, and your favorite toy. The children stood up one by one introducing themselves. It was James's turn. He stood up and nervously started to talk. My, my name is James Billings, and I'm five years old, and my birthday is December 1st. 20. James did not get a chance to finish because Billy, John, and Amber all exploded in laughter. Ha, look at your shoes. They have holes in them, and they're so dirty. They're filthy. Miss Parsons was extremely upset. There's no way to welcome a classmate to our class. Unacceptable. All of you pull your clips to red and a note will be going home to each of your parents. Miss Parsons apologized to James and settled the class down. James felt low, lower than low. He had put out his best pair of shoes and clothes the night before. He knew they had holes in them, but it was all his mom could afford. The class did a few worksheets, sang a few songs, and got ready for lunch. James lined up and walked to the lunchroom with his classmates. The classmate behind him tapped his shoulder when they arrived. Would you like to sit next to me at lunch, James? James excitedly agreed. My name is Tony, the classmate said. Yes, I remember your name. Thanks for sitting by me. The two boys chatted a little while about spaceships, basketball, and fishing. I used to fish a lot with my dad until he got really sick, said James. I hope he feels better, said Tony. James pulled out his lunch box. His mom packed it with a sandwich, an apple, and a bottle of water. Is that all you are going to eat, asked Tony. Well, this is all my mom was able to pack me. It's okay, I'll be fine. Here, have some of my popcorn and cookies, said Tony. Wow, thanks so much. The same children that teased James saw that Tony was giving out his food to James. Ha, exclaimed the children. Our moms packed us so many goodies and treats and you barely have anything to eat. That's so funny. The laughter was contagious and other kids started to chuckle. Amber yelled, so you have sneakers with holes in them and you do not have any lunch food? That's so funny. James looked at Tony with a deep sadness in his eyes. Tony patted him on the back and let him know everything would be okay. James raised his hand and asked could he go to the restroom. 
The teacher said that would not be a problem and got her assistant to take him. While in the restroom, James remembered the lucky penny his sister gave him that morning. He pulled it out of his pocket and said the secret phase aloud, I just want love. He put the penny back in his pocket, washed his hands, and returned to lunch. After doing a few more activities in class, Ms. Parsons took the class out for recess. Run and play, children, but please be nice to each other. James and Tony walked behind the slides and were talking about the lake nearby and how much fun it would be to fish there. Amber, Billy, and John walked over to James. John exclaimed, wow, your pants have holding them too. It's just too much. The kids started to laugh loudly. Without warning, the oak tree near them started to shake and move. All of the kids were surprised and did not know what was happening. All of a sudden, someone flew down from the top of the tree. He was tall and had a blue cape with a big red heart on the back. His bodysuit was black with love written on his chest. Who are you, screamed Amber. Hello, kids, my name is Captain Love. I'm here to talk to everyone about treating each other with love. At this point, the entire class had walked over to the tree in amazement, even Mrs. Parsons. Good afternoon, Ms. Parsons. I'm Captain Love. Yes, I have heard of you. What brings you to my class? Why do you think we need to learn about love, asked the teacher. Captain Love walked over to James and shook his hand. James was confused and amazed at the same time. Well, Ms. Parsons, my buddy James here is having a rough day. He was so excited to meet his class today. He put out his very best clothes, ate his breakfast, his mom prepared, and tried to help be a good student today. Yes, I agree, Captain Love said Ms. Parsons. Well, I think that the class needs to learn about treating each other with respect. You see, James and his family are going through a rough time. His dad is really sick and his mom is having to be both mommy and daddy right now. It's tough, but James and his family are trying their best. Class, just because someone doesn't have the cool sneakers or all the fancy snacks in their lunchbox or even the sharpest haircuts, it doesn't mean we treat them badly. You never know what someone has to go through just to make it to school each day. School should be a place where friends play, learning takes place, and special memories are made. It should never be a place where any child feels sad due to being bullied. Bullying is cruel, it's wrong, and it's not something Captain Love wants children to do. Do you understand? The entire class agreed. Amber, John, Billy walked over to James shaking their head. They looked very ashamed. Billy spoke for the group. We are very sorry, James. You didn't deserve that. We were so mean to you for no reason. Please forgive us. You're very cool and we hope your dad gets better. Yes, please forgive us, James, chimed John and Amber. James smiled. They each gave him a hug. James walked over to Captain Love. How did you know all of that about me, asked James. Well, you know that lucky penny your sister gave you this morning? She was given that same penny when she started kindergarten here by your big cousin. Whenever the secret phrase is spoken, I know a child is being bullied. And I tried to come and spread a message of love to the kids. Your mom and dad love you both, and I know for a fact your dad is working hard to get well. Things are gonna be okay, trust me. James felt tears of joy come into his eyes. Go ahead and enjoy the rest of your day. Be well, James. Always remember that Captain Love loves you. Captain Love swirled around three times and started to hover in the sky. Before he flew away, he reminded the children to be kind to each other and to never bully other children again. He flew away into the clouds with his cape flapping in the wind. Wow, what a day, kids. Grab your backpacks and head to the bus or aftercare. I will see you guys tomorrow. And James, we all love you. Please have a wonderful evening. The class clapped and James felt such delight. He was smiling ear to ear. He grabbed his bag and walked to the front of the school where his sister and the bus were waiting. They hugged and boarded the bus, grabbing the same seat from this morning. So, little brother, how was your first day at school? asked Amanda. It was, um, but... But then out of the sky and, and then the tree, but how did you? James was stuttering over his words. Oh, so Captain Love came to see you, huh? Well, he came to my class when I was your age. I was being bullied and I felt really bad. Some girls teased me about my hair and it hurt me so bad. They said my hair was not long and pretty like the other girls. Some other children joined them in laughing at me. I did not know why they were wanting to hurt my feelings. I only wanted to be their friends. At that point, I wanted to go home. I cried and took the lucky penny out of my pocket. I said the magic phrase and poof, Captain Love appeared in my classroom. James listened carefully to his sister while they rode home. 
She talked about how Captain Love spoke with her class and helped them to understand that every child is special in their own way and bullying will never be the right thing to do. Amanda, thank you for remembering to give the penny to me. I felt really bad today. Kids teased me about my shoes, my lunch, my pants. I wanted to go home and never return to school. But Captain Love appeared and the kids that bullied me said I was cool. They gave me hugs, they apologized to me. I think tomorrow is gonna be so much better. I know it would be better, little brother. Things are gonna be okay. You sound like Captain Love. He said the same thing. They both laughed and continued to ride home. The bus driver finally arrived on their street. They got off the bus, waved to the bus driver, and walked towards their home. Amanda used her house key, opened the door, and they both walked into the house. Mommy, we are home, they exclaimed. Come into the kitchen, my loves. I have a surprise for you, said their mom. The children turned the corner quickly and ran into the kitchen and found both their mom and dad. Their dad ran over to them, hugging them both and crying. Daddy feels so much better. I'm home and I'm so happy to be here with my family. I love you guys so much and I'm going to make sure we get back on track. Dad, I can't believe it, you're home. I miss you so much. I missed our fishing time and our baseball time. I just missed you, Dad, exclaimed James. Me too, Dad. I'm so happy you are home, said Amanda. Guys, I missed you all a lot more than you guys will ever know. I know that this has been tough, but I'm so happy that I will be able to see you all, all of you guys every day. I'm proud of each of you. It's funny, but for some reason, even when I was sick, I knew everything would be okay. Oh my goodness, Dad, you sound like Captain Love too, said James. Both James and Amanda giggled hard while Mom and Dad joined in laughing, even though they didn't quite get the joke. James and Amanda discussed their day with their parents and the impact that the Penny and Captain Love had on them. The entire family hugged, laughed, talked, and cried tears of joy. Mom prepared dinner and they sat to the table and ate as a family, a complete family. It had been so long since they were all together. Dad was okay now. Things would be okay now. Captain Love had said that everything would be okay and he was right. The end. And this is an illustration of Captain Love. I hope everyone enjoyed the book and I just want everyone to understand the message. Bullying is so wrong and we're all much, much better than that. So I wanna thank you all for your time and, and thank the program Ready, Set, Free.